24th annual Brian Deemer 5K in the Grand Rapids area. Right Runners have just taken off. It's uh, okay. about a 60 degree day, sun rising, clear skies. Gonna have a good field here, large field. You'll see the balloon. Typically, a runner runs with a balloon by Brian. Anyone who beats Brian. Great job, Ian. Great job, runners. Kyle Baker, go get him, Kyle. Hey, Paul. Great job, Scott. Great job. Nice pack behind him. Looks like one of the Hanson runners. Mixed in with our lead Africans. More of the lead runners, waiting our first woman. Should be along here shortly. Expect time probably. No, here's our first woman. Running with the balloon runners. Balloons marking her. Expect the top men in in the low 14s. 
Top women in the 16s probably. Here's our second woman. Here's the Masters Blaster Paul Oftenberg. Eventually I think we'll see Brian Deemer too, if he's healthy. He traditionally runs this race and treats everyone who beats him to a donut. As he's gotten older, he's still fast, but being near 50, he's been buying more donuts as the years go by. Didn't used to be the case. Where'd you go, Laurel? <laughs> Laurel Park, 50. Amy Wing. Lisa Veneziano, Michigan Runner of the Year. Went by in the dark sunglasses. All right, let's hear it for the last male race. Here comes our first hand cyclist coming through. I told you it'd be quick. Coming in here, nice job, gentlemen. Everyone in front of me. 
Lincoln's great run, Mackenzie. Dave Foley, then the editor, instituted the point system by which we would select Michigan runners of the year. Um, typically, we would have races throughout the state spread geographically, competitive races such as this one here. This has been a 5K run of the year, uh, Michigan Runner Race Series, many times, and um, you know, in a variety of distances. Um, through the years, we've had some multiple winners. Paul Oftenberg, who a lot of you recognize, having run here before. Um, Ian Forsyth, who uh, we're hoping to have up here soon, and it was this year's Masters Runner of the Year, it was also Runner of the Year in uh, 1997. And uh, our latest, double, Lori Decker was a two-time winner, and our latest two-time winner of the overall Michigan Runner of the Year is Lisa Veneziano. Lisa? There she is, it's your time, your cue! No, wait a minute, I have, to, I have to read, I have to write the criteria here. Uh, Lisa was a Masters Runner of the Year in 2010, an overall runner of the year in 2011 and again 2012 and even though it's 2013 now we're, we're a little bit behind the times here. Um, Lisa is, you're 47? 48. 48, obviously, obviously very well preserved and, and, and still running still running very quickly here and who knows there may be more awards but uh, you lived in Ohio for a while didn't you? Yeah, I lived in Columbus and then Cincinnati for about nine years. Okay, and now you're in Fenton? Fenton, yep, back to Fenton. We were in Fenton before we moved to Ohio and came back. Yep. Okay, well some of the races she performed well in and how she amassed her points, oh, we have, a, we have some help here, is uh, first master in the Corktown 5K in Detroit, um, Mackinac Island 8 mile overall winner? A couple times. A couple times, including in 2012 win women's winner, first master in the Grand Rapids Marathon, right here in the, the area. Um, First Michigan Master in the Fifth Third Riverbank Run, another Grand Rapids race. You cross the state here pretty frequently with uh, some success. Yeah, Grand Rapids is a great place to run. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, second Michigan Master in the Dexter Ann Arbor 10K. That was the USA TF Masters Championship. Second Mis Michigan Master in the Crim 10 Mile. If any of you have ever been and run the Crim in Flint, it's uh, one of the highlight races you wouldn't want to miss. And the second Master there is pretty stupendous. But most impressive of all, is she usually wins the Arnold Pump and Run. Can you tell me about the Arnold Pump and Run? <laughs> uh, what you do is you have to bench press your weight. Ladies bench press a percentage of their weight you, and you get about 30 seconds off for every rep that you do and you can do 30 reps. So then you run a 5k after you do that and then you combine your time. You take off the time for bench pressing and then whoever has the lowest net time. So you could actually have a negative time. You could actually finish before you start. You could if you ran really, really fast. Or you, or you lifted a lot of weight. All right, well anyway, Lisa Veneziano is the fifth two-time Michigan Runner of the Year in the magazine's history. Lisa, we have not only a plaque for you, but a framed cover of the magazine with your picture on it. Here, I'm, I'm tickled to see is uh, one of the wonderful writers for Michigan Runner Magazine, who also happens to be a pretty wonderful runner, um, Ian Forsyth. Ian was a 1997 overall Michigan Runner of the Year. In his first year as a master, he was Masters Runner of the Year, and he repeated as Masters Runner of the Year um, in 2012. Um, he was first master at the Fifth Third Riverbank Run in 2012, first master and second Michigan Runner overall at Crim. Ran a sub-15 at the Deemer last year. I don't know if it was sub-15 today or not, Ian. You think so? Okay, not, not too bad for a 41-year-old. First master at Crim. Ran a 228-48 marathon at Twin Cities. And even though this didn't happen in 2012, to give you an idea that Ian is still running pretty well, he set a national Canadian 10,000 meter record at Hillsdale, I think, in April, on the track running a 30.03 which of course is a spoonerism, and if he wants to improve on that, he has to run a 25.52. Uh, this is Ian Forsyth. He doesn't get a magazine cover, just a plaque, but very well earned. Great job, Ian.
from Caledonia running the time of 18 minutes and 10 seconds is Caitlin uh, Selowitz. Nice job. If you're here, just come on up here. Do we have a paperwork to fill out? Tenth place, yes. We do a tenth place up. We'll bring you up here. In ninth place, we have uh, Lubav uh, Desova from Gainesville with a time of seven. Place with a time of 17 minutes and 36 seconds. From Cleveland, Ohio, in seventh place, Heidi Greenwood with a time of 17 minutes and 34 seconds. Your sixth place finisher is Heidi Hookstra from Homer Glen with a time of 17 minutes and 33 seconds. Oh, Jody Hookstra. Heidi, there are plenty of these ma names messed up here. Uh, then in fifth place, we have Aaron Webster from Dearborn with a time of 17 minutes and 28 seconds. Your fourth place finisher is Irina Alexadova from Hebern with a time of 17 minutes and 6 seconds. Your third place finisher is Rachel Patterson from Grand Rapids, time of 16 minutes and 36 seconds. Your second place finisher is Hannah Getheru from Minneapolis, a time of 16 minutes and 35 seconds. And your overall winner for this year's Brian Deemer Family of Races with a time of 16 minutes, 8 seconds from Lansing, Michigan, uh, Chantal Renanke. Nice job today. Zach Ripley with a time of 14 minutes and 59 seconds. Your ninth place finisher is Dan Kerr from Petoskey, time of 14 minutes and 55 seconds. Your ninth place finisher is Ian Forthdyke from uh, Ann Arbor with a time of 14 minutes and 54 seconds. In seventh place we have Tyler Emery from Cedar Springs, 14 minutes and 51 seconds. In sixth place, we have Richard Candy from Sun Prairie with a time of 14.45. In fifth place, from Toledo, Ohio, we have Julius Kiptu with a time of 14.42. Your fourth place finisher is Robert Wambu from Herman with a time of 14 minutes and 40 seconds. Your third place finisher is Robert Scribner from Rochester with a time of 14 minutes and 34 seconds. Your second place finisher is Ellie Sang from uh, Minneapolis the time of 14 minutes and 29 seconds. And your overall finisher for this year's Brian Deemer Family Races uh, from Hedburn, Kentucky for the time of 14 minutes and 7 seconds is Shad Rock. Nice job today, Shad Rock. Get a big front loader there. Mr. Deemer. <laughs> Here's your, your top 10 finishers for this year's uh, Brian Deemer Family Races. Nice job today, gentlemen. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for reading Michigan Runner Magazine coming out at this great race today. Thanks.